Welcome back everybody. In this episode, we install these bed end protector plates to our Jayco camper trailer. They're available from Caravan Mods. They're about $25. It's a very, very cheap upgrade to protect the plywood on the underside of your bed ends where the diagonal braces go in. Now this kit comes with the four protection plates and all the hardware you need to complete this project. You simply drill out the existing Jayco rivets. You keep the brackets. You put the bolts in from the top side of the bed and the nuts and the washers go on with the protection plates and the bracket. And what it does is it stops the diagonal braces from scratching and carving out the plywood on the bottom of your slide out bed ends. It should be a very quick and easy modification to do. Come along as I show you how. Now, if you slide your bed ends out and push the mattress in slightly, you'll see the plywood floor. So as discussed, the kit comes with four stainless steel discs, the associated hardware, a nice simple diagram, and all you need really to install this kit is a drill with a decent sized bit on it so that we can drill out the two rivets on the top side, a seven mil socket, for the nylock nuts from underneath and then a screwdriver from the top. So what we'll do now is we'll drill out these two rivets from the top side, remove the brackets from underneath and then install these discs on the underside of the floor using the bolts inserted from the top and the nylock nuts and washers from underneath. It's literally a 10 minute job and you'll be done. So now that we've drilled out the rivets from the top, it's a simple case of pulling out the brackets. And you'll note that you might need to still remove the rest of the rivet, either by a punch or cutting off or some other means just to loosen it and get it out from the bracket. And then we get our disc. It goes up to the underside and then the bracket without the rivets fits back up to the underside of the plate. And the whole object of this exercise is to provide some protection to the plywood on the underside of the bed slide, just to stop it getting all scratched up. And it makes it a lot easier to slide the support in to this bracket once it's all installed. So what we'll do now is we'll remove these rivets, we'll put the bolts down and we'll assemble it. And then this end's done. So I found the best way to remove the remaining bits of rivet in these brackets is to put them into a vise and hammer these out. And then what you will need to do is get a five mil drill bit just when it gets to the end, just to drill out the remaining. And that works extremely well. I'll show you now. So you want to close up the jaws on your vise so that it's just enough to let the thickness of the head of the rivet back through. Then it's a case of just simply tapping the rivet out as far as you can get it and then drilling the last remainder. Don't stress when you discover it rounds off the top of the rivet because it's so soft. It's a really tight fit into these brackets. Drilling it out will release the remainder of the rivet. Just like that. And here we have a bracket ready to put in. Okay, now for the tricky part. And it might be easier if there's a second person to help you do this. We've got 
the two bolts in from the top with the oversized washers as per the instructions. You then put the plate in, followed by the original Jayco bracket. Then the smaller washer, and hence I think it would probably be easier if you had someone out here to help because you then need to thread the very small nylock nut onto the underside of this without dropping the washer onto the ground. But it can be done, so there we go. So that's one side on. I'll put the other nut and washer on now. Now you simply put the Phillips head screwdriver onto the head of the bolt from the top side and then get a little 7mm socket and tighten it up from the bottom. Now once you've got the other side in as well, you just want to gently slide the floor in to make sure that the bolts and the nuts aren't going to foul on anything and get caught when you're sliding it in. Just to make sure there's enough clearance, you might want to just gently or very carefully grind the head back just to make sure there's no protrusion hanging down. We'll get these buttoned up now and then do a quick check and then we'll move on to the front. And just like that, slots in. And we are done. Just one thing to note, our board has a joiner strip that runs through the middle. So what I had to do was just manipulate this disc forward a little bit so that it wasn't deflecting and trying to skip over the back of this joiner piece. That's probably something that you just, just a little detail you want to have a look at when you go to install yours. Otherwise, as I said, it's a little bit fiddly just trying to hold the bolts in to make sure you don't drop the, the nuts and the washers when you're assembling it, but really, it's a 10 minute job. It looks a lot better. It's nice, neat, and most importantly, when you want to go and slide these in, they go in really, really easy, and you're obviously not scratching and damaging the top. So, in my opinion, this is a great little modification. I probably will just nip the ends of each of these bolts just because they do hang down a fair way. So it's probably a good five to six mil. So I might just grind them back a little bit just so that there's no chance of them scraping or scrubbing or rubbing on anything when the camper trailer is being transported or when you're sliding the bed, bed ends in and out. But otherwise, successful job. Give it a go, very easy to do and it's cheap. It's a, a really quick weekend job. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got heaps more coming up. As I always say, if you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, and share around. But most of all, get out there, have fun, and stay safe. Thanks for watching.